Assalamu alaikum friends and fans how are you all how are my students so how is your how is your ramzan and what are your preparations for eid and how are my other fellows who are not muslim how are they okay assalamu alaikum stay blessed stay tuned and keep watching my videos here is usama tahir and you're watching learn english with usama tahir yes guys we have been discussing a lot about men and women speech and in speech we have multiple you know aspects to study so today we are going to talk about men versus women lexical choices what is uh, what is meant by lexical choices i mean the word choices women have different word choices than men so we are going to talk about in a very interesting way and without wasting time let's uh, talk about few questions and then move forward formally to the video lecture do you think women use some sort of another language than men i mean haha ha, this is quite funny isn't it uh, they speak like the normal languages like us but don't you think that they are making so many so many differences in their language that we can say that they're using some sort of another language the language which is womanish the language which is fragile or the language which is quite sensitive which is full of adjectives which is full of feelings emotions and something a drama <laughs> and something like that and the next one is women and men have different word choices do you think like that i mean do they have some differences in their word choices that some words are uh, closely or associated uh, closely associated with women and some are closely associated with men if it happens then how it happens and why it happens this is the question in in this field this is the question in this video lecture that we are studying that if some words are you know totally uh, or separately used by women and some are separately used by men and if it's happening then how it happening and why is it happening then what are the reasons behind it so let's take an example if a man speaking like that oh this is adorable oh i'm frightened to death and uh, a woman speaks like that oh this is adorable oh i'm frightened to death right if a man speaking like that it is socially socially unacceptable i don't know why but it's socially unacceptable maybe the intonation pattern yeah for sure and uh, some sort of word choices the uh, the person is using <laughs> or i'm using here like adorable and the words like that they are not accepted or associated with men and they sound womanish when a male or a man speaks uh, such words and if a woman speaks like that it's okay and why is why is it okay if it's not okay for the male but if it's okay for the female it means that the both genders have you know a gender specific vocabulary the vocabulary associated specifically with their genders let's discuss the color words so what are the color words the words we use we associate with colors so men they don't only see colors differently but also use it in different manners you know here is an ex here is a picture you see uh, for a woman there is maroon plum eggplant grape orchard lavender i don't know multiple colors and for male it's like purple pink orange and yellow this is how they perceive colors this is how they see colors so similarly they use color words in that way because some color words are used by women which no man can dare to use specifically borrowed from french like mauve lavender aquamarine azure magenta you have never seen a male or the men using such color words and we usually don't use so many colors we have just few colors which are in the rainbow blue pink black and some sort of primary colors we know but we may have a large dictionary of you know colors words in their brains and uh, if a male use so many color terms it sounds womanish i don't know why but it happens that in color words we associate uh, specific colors with males and specific colors with female like pink is associated with female and blue is associated with male but somehow or another women are using all the colors but they restrict males or the men to use uh, only their associated colors and not uh, hers right so let's have an example here hey john i want a magenta coat would you please go with me and buy for me now in this example the the person is saying i want a magenta coat and only the one word magenta right has uh magenta has changed the you know overall sound how it sounds like it totally sounds like womanish because of using that magenta color 
if the if the boy has used the word like if that person has used the word like uh, i want a black coat it would have sound uh, it would have sounded totally boyish or the uh, you know manly but now it is like a woman is talking something about haha <laughs> how womanish it sounds right just because of this word magenta women and men use of adjectives for men seldom use such adjectives okay let's study the women first women use ad uh, adjectives like adorable charming lovely divine fantastic heavenly i mean they use such words like that in that's in in that intonation pattern and how beautiful it sounds for, uh, uh, from their mouth and it was a gorgeous meal they will not uh, say like it is a good meal it is a yummy meal they can say it was a gorgeous meal use of excessive adjectives because they are sensitive they use a lot and a lot of adjectives because they are sensitive and they uh, the good uh, you know observer and they observe things and associate the things with different uh, adjectives now men seldom use such adjectives what it, what adjectives adorable you you must i mean you never have seen a male using the words like adorable charming lovely divine fantastic heavenly because these words are so womanish these words are so empty in their in their sense or you can say these words are so you know fragile only women tend to use them male don't use them they use words like good nice awesome and they would say it was a gorgeous meal they will never say they will say it was good meal and don't use so many adjectives in daily life they have you know a very small range of adjectives which they you know use in every situation like oh this is awesome this is great this is this is awesome this is great they will keep on using these two adjectives in every situation this is awesome this is great but women have a large dictionary <laughs> of you know adjectives like this is adorable this is charming this is fantastic this is heavenly this is divine oh how funny is that adjective is divine we never have used that word in our life divine right so that was all today we i i tried my best to explain it and in the later on videos i will keep on explaining in the series of video lectures about male and female differences so stay tuned keep watching my videos don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell button thank you allah hafiz